I'm open in the mail, but in a totally different location because it's been really busy for me and um, I haven't opened the mail in like a week and a half and I have so many freaking presents. Um, I want to give a shout out to my super fun outfit because someone won these stockings on my sexy auctions and this outfit. So I'm wearing it one more time to give it blessed with a little more love before it goes out to those special people. So let's see what's in the boxes. I'm gonna start with the biggest box today. I mean, I'm not a size queen, but I, I can be a size queen. <laughs> Particularly when it comes to handbags. I want the biggest handbag there is. Um, okay. Ooh, it's a foam roller. Oh my gosh. Where's my, can I move Oliver? Could you take my X-Acto knife? This is from Liv. Liv, I want to say thank you so much because my new thing is I've been working out. Here it is. Zacto knife. Oliver is loving this box. Look at that tail. Oh, yeah. Uh, because I have been smoking weed and then rolling out on the foam roller, and it is real awkward. I'm going to give you a demonstration because the noises that I make are uh, not ladylike <laughs> at all. <laughs> uh, but if you're not foam rolling, you're doing yourself a disservice because it's just the best thing ever. Oh, oh. Oliver's, and Oliver loves the box. Thank you again, Liv. But yeah. Oh, oh, my back's gonna be popping. Oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I was on a flight yesterday, so those airline seats always get my back really tight. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's the sex symbol stuff that happens in my house. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, shit. This better have a note. Again from Liv, you're a freaking angel. Um, Legend of Zelda, which is good because with my second switch, I'm almost to where my uh, farm was on my first switch in Stardew Valley. So it's definitely time for me to play some new games because I think I have won Stardew as much as I can. Not that I'm in a relationship on Stardew, but like my farm is fabulous. Ooh, ooh, Vito. Vito sent me panties. It's, uh, it's going to be a red panty night. <laughs> um, Casa Bella is my favorite. I, I love all lingerie, obviously. You guys have seen my stuff. Um, but Casa Bella, when I'm at home, when I'm out and about in the world, they just have the bestest, softest, prettiest stuff. And boom. Gonna be a red panty night. <laughs> How does Conor McGregor say it? I don't know, something like that. Your wife's in my DMs. Um, in here. Oh, this is some purse. Oh, this is just a personal thing that I got, but these are headbands because you're gonna see a lot more of wigs in my videos. In fact, there's gonna be a new Maria the Maid coming out next week on. Uh, uh, where Maria the Maid meets London Sea River and she goes down. <laughs> okay. Oh! Oh my gosh. This is from Jay, my new favorite fan, um, who has been just such a freaking angel. I cannot say enough nice things about him. Um, but he's indulging in my constant need for sundresses. Like, I, we all know it's hot this summer. Living in L.A., like, a girl just needs, like, a good quality pair of panties. Thanks for the Casa Bella. That just covers up her bits. Because you're going to want to put a sundress on over it. Because sundresses are the only way, the only chic way to survive hot weather, in my opinion. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, this is... Hello. And I love that this sundress is gonna look cute with my little white sneakers. 
I've been doing a lot of uh, white sneakers and sundresses just for comfort. Um, not that I don't love my high heels. Uh, but yeah, thank you again. New favorite fan, Jay. Wishless sugar daddy. You have taken the lead, sir. <gasps> oh, my favorite. It's a book. It's a book. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been reading so much because I've been so busy and I'm going to be traveling a lot. So books are such a good gift for me because I'm going to be doing some beach reads. This is called A Touch of Jen. Um, I can't remember. It's a young couple's toxic Instagram crush spins out of control and unleashes a sinister creature with its twistest, cinematic, and vicious funny debut. Debut. I'm just hoping it's like um, Ingrid Goes West, which is a movie with Aubrey Plaza that I thought was hilarious about uh, Instagram um, relationships spinning out of control. You know, very meta. Very meta in this day and age. Right. We got a couple more things. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff today because I haven't opened the mail in a week. Oliver, do you love all these boxes, bud? Oh, and this is just threatening to, to probably charge my phone before I do this. Ooh! Oh my gosh, it's a bracelet. Oh, it's a necklace. It's a beautiful gold necklace. It's um, in a classic knot because you know I love that preppy style. Oh, stunning. Just absolutely stunning. Yeah, so this is a classic gold knot. I actually have a pair of earrings from Tiffany that I bought years and years and years ago, but I never got a matching necklace. And this is not Tiffany, but it's, it's beautiful and high quality from Ross Simmons. And it does not have a note, unfortunately. Make sure to comment below if this was from you because you know a girl loves jewelry. <laughs> Oh, there's still more. It keeps coming. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm tired. How long have I been doing this? <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. More jewelry. Oh, live. Live. I live for you. I'm going to come closer because my... I don't know why it keeps threatening to power down, but it shouldn't. Should not at all. Oh. Oh. Okay, got it open. This is from um, Swarovski, and I love Swarovski because they really do have the, spike, the sparkliest stones. And so this is a cubic zirconia from Swarovski. Uh, so you know that it is just, oh Jesus. Well, the box isn't quality, but the jewelry is. And these are just a pair of rose gold um, cubic zirconia Swarovski <laughs> rhinestone studs that I'm going to pair with um, this beautiful uh, rose gold and crystal um, snowflake <laughs> necklace that I got because a friend got it for me because I am a liberal snowflake and I can take a joke. <laughs> All right, what else do we got? Oh, we got white jeans. Oh, from Mr. CW. Oh, girl can never have enough white jeans, particularly in summer. They, even with a Tide to Go pen, I go through them so fast. <gasps> and perfume. Oh my gosh, I've been needing new perfume. Okay, who is this from? Secret Admirer. Calvin Klein's obsession. Oh, this is perfect because I am obsessed with 90s fashion right now and nothing says 90s fashion like a Calvin Klein fragrance. It's like a Bobbi Brown lipstick. Oh, oh my gosh. I am in heaven for this. I'm gonna have to spritz it. I'm gonna spritz it. I'm gonna show you one more thing and then I gotta get out of here. I gotta go get tested and uh, get on with my day. Ooh, that smells amazing. Okay, this is how I do perfume. You know, a little spritz. And then you just walk through it. Like you're in Silence of the Lambs. And the one last gift that I want to give a shout out to, um, I don't normally like to, I don't often have fancy things. I'm happier to shop at Home Depot than I am at <laughs> Neiman's. I know, I'm broken. I don't get it either. But obviously I love clothes. And I finally was gifted a pair of classic, 
Louboutin stilettos. So, I'm gonna take these off. These stockings are nice and sweaty. They're gonna go out in the mail in just a few minutes. I'm gonna give you a little stroll in the, in the new loops. Let's see what you think about that. Ooh. What I love about a Louboutin, I don't normally wear them. I discovered I have to order a half size up because I have long toes and they have a short toe box. So, legs for days. So, gotta give a big shout out to Jay. And you know who, who got me the lubes. And to all of you here today, thank you so much. I will see you soon um, when I get around to opening the mail. Have a beautiful day.